biz back with another video um this one is gonna be very very short i ain't gonna waste y'all time um but i get a lot of questions about scanner error codes and i understand the panic because i i'm pretty sure you've seen the video where i converted it then you've seen the video maybe where i did the um how to switch out the ink and then i did the video of the purge First things first, I want to clear up the video to how to purge is was a mistake on my part. So therefore, you don't really need to do that. You, there was no reason for that to be two videos. I only did two videos because I messed up. So the first video, I switched out the ink. But while I was switching out the ink, I had trouble pulling these off and getting it to fit in. There was no need to do that because I could have did it from the bottom of the dampers. So I never would have had to purge in the first place. Or I would have had to purge, but I would have never had to you know, go in between, oh, you know, most of the time of that video was spent trying to get it in the, in the tube. So that was pointless. When you do it your way, just go out of the bottom of the damper. Say yourself some time, unlike me. Don't be like me. <laughs> and then second of all, as far as scanners, because I had my uh, lid to my printer lifted up like this, the back cord came out. So I get a lot of comments about, oh, I'm getting a scare and an error code. I got the same code as you. I didn't do anything special. This is all I did. I I basically evaluated my printer. Once I evaluated my printer, I learned that this is out. This little white, I don't know if it can focus. There we go. This little thing slid out. So after examining, I'm like, man, what could it be? What could it be? I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Kind of find out this came out. It goes, uh, I don't know if the camera angle is going to show. Let me try to put it. It's like in there. Okay, I'm going to try my best to show from this angle. This isn't the greatest angle, but it's enough. Keep in mind, where it plugs up is where it is. So you can't see right now, but if you can notice, you see this fat one right here? It go under that inside. So all I'm going to do is slide it in with my finger like this. It goes under there like that. But instead of coming out here, if you actually look, there's a... Um, here, I'm going to try to get it an angle on it. All right. Let's see if we can see what we can see. Uh, It's so in there. I don't know if I can get my phone in there, but it's in there. Here, let me try from this angle. Let's go in it like this. Get some focus, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, there it is. You see that little... <laughs> We struggling. Y'all see that in the bottom corner? My finger all in the way. But look at that little black piece right there in the corner. See that? That's where you're going to stick it. And it's under this strap. Like I said, if you need to know where it's at, it's on the door. So hopefully that helps. Um, keep in mind also, I am no computer genius, no laptop genius, no technician for printers none of that i'm just a guy who go by trial and error stuff happens to me and i have to fix it because nobody gonna help me so i just dive in not to mention i sell products and i don't want to leave any customers hanging so if they ask me a question i'm gonna dive in you feel me so don't get it twisted and thinking i know everything but i will try to help as best as possible so to avoid the, oh by the way the code that shows up is uh 1016 that's the code i got that's all I can speak on. So, easy fix. I literally just got back in here. I'm actually showing out because I'm on a video. I didn't do this much. I didn't even look at it when I did it before. Okay, now it's in. So, I'm just going to push and give it some effort. thought I had it. But yeah, if you slide this in right, um, give it some mustard, actually, you know, get it back in there and yeah, it's in there, but you don't want to push it too hard to where you rip it or anything, but that's in there. But if you notice, look how small of an area we working with. So you can easily just flip your lid and pull this out. It comes out very easily. I don't know if that was on purpose or what, but it don't take much for it to come out. So be very careful. 
Um, hopefully, if you don't fill the ink with the wrong ink in the first place, you won't have to do that. So, yeah. But if you happen to do it, that's what helped me. So, hopefully, it'll help y'all. And other than that, we out. Um, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Check us out. The new EcoTank bottles are in the shop. This is the old label. The new label is in. I'll be doing an unboxing on some more printers very soon. And you'll see the new bottles and how they look. And that's about it. All right.